This painting is a telling example of how Pablo Picasso frequently expressed his passionate political convictions in his art. The proudly strutting rooster that dominates the center stage of the composition is a long-standing symbol of France. The image of the Gallic cock crowing to announce a new day celebrates the liberation of France from the Nazis in 1944. For the first several decades of his career, Picasso didn't explicitly mix art and politics. This separation, however, wasn't always the case. One event in particular brought Picasso's political views to the fore. The small Basque town of Guernica was brutally bombed by the Nazi and Italian fascist allies of the Spanish nationalist government. Joseph Mallard William Turner, born in 1775, was an unlikely candidate to become Britain's greatest painter. He was awkward, short-tempered, and often difficult to deal with. He never lost his strong working-class accent. People attending his lectures had little idea what he was saying. Turner travelled throughout Britain and Europe. Often on foot and carrying a paint box, he sketched and painted lyrically beautiful landscapes that changed the face of British art. When he died in 1851, he was one of the wealthiest and most famous artists in Britain's history. Throughout his career, he was always well aware of the key to his success. The only secret I've got is damned hard work. Turner's life and career began in London. By 1788, at the age of 14, J.M.W. Turner was apprenticed to an architect. Mm -hmm. 